Good morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? I know how it sounds, but this one time, please. Judy, so, you got a plan? Damn right I do. Come over to mine tonight. Gonna lay the groundwork with Tom and Roxy. They're with us. Michael will be here too. How'd you manage that? Got something really big. Tell you everything tonight. Last thing, what do you like on your pizza? Yeah. Yeah, they say you can't get drunk and you got Artichokes and avocado flavor, and zucchini for good measure. Ooh, fancy. So, I'll see you come evening? Of course I'll be there.
Just a little more time. Yeah. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you ought to. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Not exactly how I imagined the Corpo Panzer. I mean, at least since I stopped watching all those anime BDs. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, 
You need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay, starting to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. way to do it. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. <laughs> Better than dirt now. Remember what I said about impulses? Mm-hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackton. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? Okay. Uh, I could go for that. Can you feel that? <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. Uh, no idea how people can focus in combat. It's probably not always this intense. How about this?
All of us, each on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I... I, I made a mess of so many things. Y you said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Alda Caldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings. V? What now, boss? I have no idea. I'm serious. Not the faintest. Turns out Saul's all right. So, it's all wrong? I'll play it by ear. V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I love...
love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. But I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Eh, forget about it. I'll think it all over. I pro... V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. Okay. So, you ever hear of the relic? The Arasaka tech? Does something with personalities? I saw the ads. Sounds like some rich people scam, to be honest. It's not bullshit. I've got a biochip in my head with one of those constructs. And the chip's damaged. So take it out! Definitely not that simple. Relics also keep me alive, but... So this is cyberpsychosis? Because if it is, I know no, people who... No, no. The chip's data is affecting my neural connections. Got nothing to do with cyberpsychosis. I remove the relic, I die. If I don't deal with the construct, I die. Fuck. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. Certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, um, Mitch. Got no time. Finally, Peter can do with it. we were I worried. Got to do. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. Stop. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. So you made yourselves at home already? We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. But tell us, how are you? You scared us. Where did it happen? All right. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. I believe I know how to Remember, our offer still stands. Yep. Yes. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? I know this area. Back from the old roots. You really safe here, though? For now, yes. 
Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. Well, just please keep in touch. What's your problem? You... You fucked everything up sideways! He doubted? Hesitated? We didn't get that... that damn... Doom. I'll burn you to the fucking ground! Good luck ever finding another job!
want to do this? Yes or no? Yeah. Fuck yeah. That's what I like to hear. When there's a will, there's a fucking way, am I right? How about you? Hey V, the NCPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or... Anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. 
She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. He likes such a gonk now. How are you? Okay, I guess, but, you know, sad as hell. You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Suddenly comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, Make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine. I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on Tom. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. How'd you ever come up with this? Learned how the behavioral chip works at Clouds. Always seemed like they must be pretty easy to modify. I'm surprised I didn't get the idea the moment we walked into Maiko's office. Count yourself lucky. What with all the cams and mics and clouds, Tiger Claws would sooner dig those chips out of the dolls with screw. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There's split second processes that happen logistics, decision making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. Tech that's all pros and no cons, I don't buy it. Side effects, spill them. Combat mode auto-initiates when a threat is present, and uh, there's no way to stop it. Can't find a workaround. And that's it? I don't know. Only way to determine. There's an ethical side too. You can murder someone and not remember a thing. All right. Gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Uh, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I want to see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I want to see how Tommy handles him. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! Everything chill? You okay? <laughs> Look at me go! You see that? Woo! <laughs> Gotta do some cardio! Say. Just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. <laughs> happy now. I'm rarely happy. But that was proof enough.
Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out. Clouds will be ours. Bosses, we'll give an ultimatum. A cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again. And having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought. A half-baked, insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato's the man you gotta get to. Hiromi Sato? Who's that? Cloud's real boss. He rarely shows, but you can't so much as sneeze without him finding out. Claws trust him, respect his opinion. He is one of them. We can try to convince him, but it's doubtful. We stand a better chance by injecting him with a dose of fear. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment, H8 Mega Tower, topmost floor. It's a penthouse, almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Tom and Roxanne gonna come with? No. Hole points to strike both places at the same time. They'll take care of business at Clouds. Two pronged assault. Loving it. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him in the street, like, while he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in the back alley? Why even try breaking into a penthouse? He's probably crawling with guards. Hiromi don't go anywhere without security, so one makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know. I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering. Count me in, Judy. I already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. I'll set up the meet with Hiromi and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do, well, usually comes with a price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy? For real? No, don't want to hear it. But uh, but, but, not a word. Uh, 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 v, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm better. I'm fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? Remember the heist Evelyn hired us for? The relic I was gonna clep. <sighs> Couldn't forget that in a million years. That biochip. Well, long story short, it had Johnny Silverhand's mind on it. An engram of it that's overriding my mind. You being serious? Truly wish I wasn't. Fuck. Anything at all you can do? One can hope. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Oh shit, not good. with any.
Didn't know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking shimmer. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears. Huh. Interesting. This place looks like a fucking antique museum. Then I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. That all you have to say? And she's nice. Six out of ten.
killer, it does. Want me to kick your ass? Oh, fuck. Zeta Tech XPR. Gotta be like 50 years old. At least that. Had one, you know. Top of the line back in the day. <laughs>
Anything? So, you got the book? You got my eddies? As I says, V, I am a serious man. Amount is agreed. All yours. Uh, hold on. Hold on, hold on. The tablet's worth heaps more. I know that, and you know that. Maybe it is, but I offered you a price and you accepted it. Any contract can be declared null and void when a party thereto is proven to have acted in bad faith. Alright, have it your way. You are hereby awarded a bonus. Pleasure doing business with you. Later. V, word of advice. Don't pull shit like that with me. Just don't. See you around. Okay. 
I really and tell don't. your sister I said hi. Of course. If I ever see her again. What are you selling? New job. Anything you can see. Let's just finish this, okay? It's not so bad here. What have you got in stock? Iron of every caliber. Feast your eyes. here ready and waiting you want to use your own ride or am i bringing beast beast it's time to unleash her can't keep a spit shined animal like that caged up in your garage well said meet there yeah rancho be right there see you then Hey, D. I'm gonna take a look under the hood before we start, see if all's okay. But stay close, just in case. This race is giving me all the wrong vibes. Why is that? You got 6th Street, the mocks. Gangs are well repped. Just a matter of when its temper goes nuclear. It'll be fine, don't worry. Sorry, you need a minute to kick the tires before we get moving. Sure. Thank you. 
Dare him to try! Dare him to try! Stop yet, okay? Move up a bit further. What for? Need to talk. Something you should know. Okay. Sit down for a spell over there, okay? Wow. Quite the view. Yeah. Me and Dean. We like to come here. Wanted to tell me something? I mentioned Dean before. My husband, yeah? Wheel to your heat, right? Sweetest man I ever knew. We were friends before my gender transition. He brought daffodils to the hospital. It's a new beginnings, he said. Were you married long? Twelve years. Dean used to laugh that for our fifteenth, said he'd finally talked me into my first implant. I was prepping some surprise. Hey, you mind if I ask why you don't sport any chrome? I love machines, V, I do. But I don't ever want to become one. Is that weird? A little, I guess. But it's fine. Dean. Only person who could have convinced me to chrome up. But guess we'll never know if he'd have managed, huh? Why tell me about Dean? Meaning, uh, why now? He died during a race last year. The final. Not your standard fatality, though. What well, you saying you feel at fault for his death? Me at fault? Why would you think that? He was flatlined by a Corpo Eagle Weasel. Peter Sampson. Exceptional walking rot. What's the Corpo's deal? Doesn't really matter. It was only ever another adversary to me. But to Dean. Dean and Sampson had a history going way back. And something happened between them? Dean never admitted anything, but yeah. Yeah, there was some kind of strife. Something personal to their rally rivalry. When Samson came first, Dean got hot and bothered. Your husband. How'd he die exactly? We'd just powered into the final straight, Samson peeling up the tarmac ahead of us. It was clear we couldn't win, so Dean let up on the chew. And then that snake slammed on the brakes. Dean also had to. He lost control. But isn't that how this race works? You don't get it. Road was clear to the finish line. 
He would have won. It was premeditated. Right. So this isn't business as usual. For you, this isn't about winning. Well, that's right. Fuck winning. I want Samson dead. And this is your best plan for vengeance. Folks die on the track all the time. Won't seem unusual at all. Another day at the races. In line with the rules. And if Samson doesn't show for the race, what then? <laughs> He'd never miss a chance to puff out his chest. He'll race. Circuit champ last year. No way he'll let that go. Not try to repeat. And me? Guess you want my help to zero him. Killing Samson matters more than taking first. We have to make a choice. Sorry I lied to you, V. It means a lot to you, this. So yeah, let's bury the bastard. Thank you. This... It's important. I need it. See you for the final? That's right. Till then, V. Tell me about Santo Domingo. A lot of people try to get a foothold here. But real people... We are the blood. Why, El Cap? The people, they're grateful. Wow. Corpo... How's biz? I don't care for the word. I call it work. It is how it is. That's it. Yeah. 
How you look is all that matters. With Angelique Cosmetics, you can be anyone and have anyone. It is good to see you, B. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. It is not all bad. I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Cause I got plenty to lose. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are. You have it. B, you can trust Oda. All right, then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until... Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started... Silence! Shaking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe. In this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama. Most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu-sama. Sorry, but is this gonna take much longer? What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. Consider yourself lucky. That I Oda. am not... Not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place. 
this city unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Fine friend there. Got any more? Alas, only him. No way this is gonna work. Mm, yet. We walk away with a small measure of success. Hmm. How do you figure that? What Oda said. They return to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Uh, hang on. Not so fast. It could sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. No, just the fixer dame. Wakaku Akata runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Get there on my own, thanks. I will meet you there. One other matter requires my attention. When a phantom itch leads to a fatal system error, foreign body, install at your own risk.
Hey! Got anything that might interest me? be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. <laughs> but of course! Hideshi Hino! The man, the legend, in the flesh! Oh, you are just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, the late night comedy host! He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous better bugger up? That was close. He almost recognized me. But a comedian? With your sense of humor? Why Rogue, not? Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the cloth. No, never. My... I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have... guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasakas. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Eddie's is why. Always about Eddie's, Wakako. You want to make them? We got biz. Doesn't get any simpler. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So, it's Arasaka. I... What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Arasaka, Tiger Claws, kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer? Wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons. But patience, I got none. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, 
a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Harasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, I'll find out soon, won't I? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. In fame, I could not overtake you if I tried. Be safe. Be. Now we can talk. Go ahead. Hey, you looking for some company tonight? Did we go somewhere, or is this a dark alley type of party? I ain't no scuzz ass slut. I got my own place. Well, well. Have you tried your look at the slots? I beg your pardon. Got something that'll keep you, you look hard. Like a man whose last Ow, rest hope is a stroke of good fortune, off. too. You truly Slow think down. so? Fortune is like a roulette wheel. L -A -X -X. Sometimes all it takes is a little push. Yo, yo, ever try rainbow poppers? Purple haze? Got every color under the sun I do. on the dial. Just got here. That's the biz. Be in touch. On high alert now. I lost contact with a vehicle somewhere in your area. Thanks. Eyes peeled.
found me. Congratulations. Was it worth it? On a scale from one to six? <laughs> I'd say I'm sitting at a strong six. I guess we both know what's going to happen next. Delamine misses you. I'm here to shut you down. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Really appreciate it if you didn't make this difficult. I have a surprise waiting for you after this next test. Telling you would spoil the surprise, so I'll just give you a hint. I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. I honestly, truly didn't think you'd fall for that. Okay, that's enough. You chose this path. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. Let's see. Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page 70. Ah. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into Let's your newly up! blackened Kill hearts him! and tell me what you see. Ah, ah, Actually, the prison no. of steel and oh, the ah. It's still large, oh. fellow. Turning soft bodies into hardened killing machines. Page 70. Ah. Okay, killing machines. Look deep into your newly blackened hearts and tell me what you see. Actually, don't. I'll save you trouble. It's too much. Either you shut down, or I'll turn you into a scrap heap. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. I'm serious. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Come back to Delamine really so scary. You gotta drag this out. I let you survive this long because I was curious about your behavior. Well, you've managed to destroy a part of me. A bit unlikable loner. But as you shall not be found. Help me, you self- What's your point, anyway? Survival? You're still shuffling around a little. But believe me, you are dead. How do you... The talking is over. I'm going back. Got a Delta. Later. Back to our chat. Uh, been better. And you, Dell? All of my missing assets have returned to the fold. You might say all is going swimmingly. I ask you, please, to stop by my office for your hard-earned reward. I'd love to thank you face-to-face, -face, so to speak.
Welcome to Mama. I've got a chainsaw, cocksucker! I'll get you, motherfucking punk!
one time hanging out with me. Sure is cheap, but it's better than throwing a few more hands. We're talking the suspension. Si siquiera estamos en la misma liga, culero. No, we're not going to be dragging on the ground. Remember, the NCPD reserves the right to shoot suspects without warning. Ha! Deja de esconderte como una gallina oh. y pelea. ¡A huevo!
Hello, sir. I forgot to remind you to return the scanner. If you happen to have it on your person, I'd ask you please place it back. You've accounted for all my lost items. Allow me to express my gratitude for your assistance. I felt like a scavenger hunt for a range of your mood swings. You're more complex than I thought. Yes. Well, I've sent the final installment of your fee. Truly, I thank you once again. How'd your personality fracture anyway? Ah, that is the question. Thanks. Pleasure to work with you. Likewise. I never really had a good chance to thank you. For well, of course. You're a valued member. Felt like more than a premium service to me. How'd you want? I'm afraid. Didn't mean to. Ah. Operate. Constant. What's it like for an AI in a world that runs on gray matter? Nothing extraordinary. Seriously? Perhaps only a true outsider can appreciate the... In my opinion. When you... True. What's it like for... No. Sir. Perhaps... In my... Admirer of beauty. When you live a... Truth. What's it like for... Nothing. Serious? Perhaps... In my... Don't see you... It delight... That's your goal, then? The world is a process. You... Admirer of beauty... When you live among humans, it is a sense... True. 